here and in places of worship around the world, Roman Catholics will be praying for Pope Benedict XVI in his last day in office as their Holy Father. They'll be looking back on the eight years of his pontificate with admiration, but also some regret, because, of course, abuse scandals have scarred his pontificate. It comes at a time of challenges for the church. In Brazil, the Catholic population has fallen from nearly three quarters to two thirds of the population. It comes as evangelicals make inroads into the believers, and the church is also struggling to relate to a younger generation. Here in Nigeria and all across the continent, Catholics tend to be extremely conservative and perhaps even more dogmatic than their Western counterparts. So for the Catholic progressives who hope that the next pope will consider loosening some of the strict guidance on hot button issues like contraception, abortion, or women in the priesthood, analysts say that that's not likely to come from an African pope. The pope's resignation has sent shockwaves across the Catholic community. But you wouldn't think it here in China, in the main daily paper here in Beijing, it doesn't have a single mention of the Pope leaving office. That speaks to the ambivalent attitudes between the Catholics and the Communist Party.